Welcome back, Agent Nation. My name, of course, is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. Yo, there's so much drama. I need me to come out with a 2K drama alert this quick, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to jump straight into it. Hey, if you guys are new, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. But that goes without saying. Hey, for our first story of the day, Agent Beamstar is correct once again, ladies and gentlemen. I've mentioned multiple times on this 2K drama alert. Listen, if there's drama, pull out a camera and record it. Most of the time, people would want to see it. Now, I said the same thing about the NBA 2K League. It seems accidentally that they did just that. Roll it. 10 point win for the Hawks over the Celtics. Whoever decided to play the fight music the second the fight popped off, that guy needs a raise. Immediately, no hesitation. Listen, man, I've been trying to say it's good for business. The, everybody and their parents have been tweeting about it on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, you name it. So if you haven't seen the clip, I'll be surprised, to be honest with you. Troy Dan's clip alone already got 23,000 likes, captioned, LMFAO, they out here fighting in NBA 2K19 League. Somebody getting fined 200K VC. But outside of the spectacle that is the drama, can we can we talk about what Fab was doing right here? He looked at his teammates. Hold on. He looks at his teammates. Oh, oh, it's time to go? Okay, all right. Let's walk in this line and do handshakes with the people we just lost to. No handout. He just bumps into him instead of walking around him. Listen, I understand if you're infuriated, man. You're like, man, we shouldn't have lost that game. Some bull Maybe, maybe they were lagging because sometimes for some reason that happens in the 2K League. At least get out of his way because when you bump into a guy way bigger than you and then you shove the guy way bigger than you, you're getting glocked in most situations. Listen, I don't know much about Fab, but I just know he just seemed like an awkward person in this situation. A lot of people was telling me this fight was fake. And I'm just telling you guys right now, a lot of people in the suburbs fight like just that. I know because I went to school with him. That's what it looks like when you're angry and you want to fight but you don't really know how to fight. You end up doing something like this, boom, and then pretending like, hold me back, hold me. <laughs> and in reality, you wouldn't even want the fight because that guy would have destroyed you. Listen, I'm, I'm a professional when it comes to fake fighting. Actually, I'm not a professional. Why would I say that? I haven't been in that situation. I would never do such a thing. I'm not that awkward. I dropped my own tweet. I said, told y'all, drama is good for business. Listen, I don't really care if it was staged or not, to be honest with you. I just care that more of it happens. And you know what's crazy is I hear stories all the time of crazier happening in some of these houses in these 2K League teams, but they keep it quiet. Of course, for appearance sake, right? They don't want their brands to freak out because that's where they make most of their money. And so I understand why the drama doesn't come out, but I'm just telling you whenever it does come out, that's what the f people like to see, all right? I'm just saying, man, I'm just saying, man. Anyway, let's get on to the next story. For the next story of the day, whoo! Ladies and gentlemen, Cole the man is in some hot water. I wouldn't really call it hot water, but he's been in some drama for the past few weeks, to say the least. Cole the man loves Asian women. That's no secret, we know that. And he likes to post about how much he loves Asian women on Twitter all the time. Until one day, a few weeks ago, there was an Asian girl that was pissed off. She said, stop fetishizing Asian women. Cole the man said, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Are you offended right now because I said Asian women are beautiful? Like, what do you want me to say? In what situation? <laughs> Long story short, situation escalated to the point where Cole the man brought her on a stream and decided to argue with her. And there was some pretty funny clips. You can be racist to white people. Like, I'm sorry. Like, if you think you are superior to a white human being, that is racism. And that's, that's it. <laughs> We're gonna that's fine. That. But I can agree with the fact that okay, maybe it didn't come from the place. Wait, did you just say you disagree with that? Wait, hold on, Mitch, you were talking right. I just been play don't, hey, don't you dare ignore me. Hey, hey, this oh, man got clout. Listen to him, man. I am Troy Dad. Hear me I'm wrong. I'm trying to. I'm gonna fuck off, Troy. This was a Go bad idea. Go ahead, Troy. Hey, Troy, you blocked me on Twitter. Hold on. Why you blocked me on Twitter, man? I'm a good person. I'm a good soul. Go ahead, Troy. Just touch me. Anyway, it was a lot of YouTubers, a whole lot of people that ended up hopping in that stream just to like, it was very entertaining, that's all I'm saying. Here's the thing, in, in her argument, she was saying that because she's disadvantaged, because she's Asian, 
and it makes her feel like she's being fetishized when people say they like Asian women, then people shouldn't be allowed to say that because of how it makes her feel. But then she turned around and said, I could say whatever I want about white people because you guys are privileged and it's not racism because reverse racism doesn't exist. That was the core of her argument. And I don't care who the fuck you are, whether you're alien, human, a, a Martian for all I care if you think that your group is better than another group purely off of race then by definition that's what it is racism but she didn't understand that it was like it was, you were watching it and it was funny because everyone was kind of just arguing and they had people like Troy Dan coming in there but like profoundly stupid but it was funny nonetheless I'm not gonna give her no clout because that's what she was looking for in all this but the stream itself was really hilarious and I kind of just wanted to outline that the moral of the story there's no moral. Just stop getting offended so much. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, man, Ronnie 2K is in the news because out of nowhere, Ronnie 2K changed his Twitter bio and it had some people feeling some type of way. So Illuminati tweeted this. Ronnie 2K is leaving the 2K community. That's tough. You might be wondering, where, did, where does Illuminati get such a thing, right? Well, if you look at the following tweet, Constantine puts out a tweet saying, okay, I see what people are seeing. Ronnie 2K doesn't have 2K or anything in his bio. Hmm, thoughts, question mark? Ronnie 2K's bio used to be deezed and he used to have a whole lot of other stuff about how he was the partner manager or whatever with 2K, but now he completely changed it to watch me stream and give stuff away. Ronnie 2K himself responded to that tweet though saying, lol, besides my name, my stream, the content of 90% of my last 100 tweets. Hashtag thank you next. Before that, Ronnie responds for a full day on Twitter, everyone was kind of just speculating, saying there was a real possibility Ronnie 2K might be leaving. Which obviously wouldn't make sense for 2K because a lot of their relationships with content creators or even just celebrities in the, in the world are through Ronnie. Ronnie has all those connections in his damn phone. So why would you cut that guy? It doesn't make any sense. In fact, they should be giving him raises. When they want to do a face scan with a player, sure, they could reach out to teams and agents, but it's easier if Ronnie just texts the guy and says, yo, when can you come through to do your face scan for a rookie that hasn't done it yet? Anyway, it's incredibly unlikely that Ronnie 2K is leaving anytime soon, but it stirred some drama, so I wanted to talk about it. <sighs> for our next story of the day is drama out of nothing, man. It's happening on Twitter once again, ladies and gentlemen. Some YouTubers are back at it again. Swante put out a tweet. Saying this. Why are people acting like they watch golf? Weirdos. And this was after Tiger Woods somehow won the Masters and everybody was going crazy. Cole the Man took some shots back saying, imagine talking about golf. It's one of the highest paid and hardest sports. Not the highest paid. I don't even know if it's that close to being the highest paid. There's a lot of sports. Anyway, besides the point. And I tell you right now, it's also not even close to being the hardest sport, but that's just my opinion, all right? That's just me. That's what Cole said though. Swante responded saying this. Hardest sports, LMFAO, shut the f up. Cole the man responded saying, go pick up some clubs. Took years for me to be able to compete at a pretty high level. Swan responded saying, boy, there's a reason old ass unathletic men play it. It's nowhere near the same tier of difficulty as real physical contact sports. And in this situation, I actually agree with Swante. Who said it has to be physical for it to be competitive? It's definitely common sense. Physicality brings a whole different element to what sport is actually the hardest. Golf is a sport compared to football, MMA, boxing, and basketball, clearly. And no genetic freaks play no weak ass golf. Cola Man tweeted saying, Swan shooting 200 at least. And he responded with, boy, nobody play no sweet ass soy boy filled golf. LMAO, my point is these genetic freaks, if they played it they whole life, they could dominate compared to them not being able to do the same. That proves which is harder. Joe knows the one and only incredibly athletic soccer basketball player said, every time I see you tweet about real sports, it just confirms you got cut from your high school freshman basketball team. You think about sports like a child who has no idea what high level athletics actually requires. Swante took some shots back, man. He wasn't feeling it. Why is your weird ass so toxic, LMFAO? So much hate. Buddy, I played football my whole life and made it to semi-pro level. You don't know shit about me, clown. I guess you're offended because you play soccer. Get your lame dweeb ass with these personal insults. You don't know me. <laughs> and Joe Knows posted a screenshot of Swante blocking him with the caption, guess he's not as tough as he tweets. Then more shots were being fired because Cole the Man tweeted, free Swan, because Swante got a 12 hour suspension for, I guess Twitter said that uh, he was making threats. 
So he got suspended for 12 hours and Joe Knowles responded to that tweet saying, dude might have the lowest IQ I've ever seen. Nothing I said was even about race, but if we review his tweets, oh, yikes. And the tweet that it got the Swante's Twitter reported goes as follows. I'd beat the shit out of your clown ass dweeb. Get my out of your mouth, ass person. You a square ass Mark racist. Yo, come on, Swan. You should have known not to tweet that, bro. It's Twitter, my guy. Dude's built like a pile of Play-Doh want to talk about sports, then get triggered when you call him out. Welcome to 2019. You hurt my feelings. And then Davis, Davis's clown ass, decided to get into it in the comments. He said, mmm, Takio-ish. Power tweeted saying, welcome to the club of being blocked because Swan Tail also has power blocked. Davis said, of course he's not as tough as he tweets. He talks reckless on the internet. What? If you remember, like eight, nine months ago, Swantane Davis had some serious beef where they made videos going back at one another. Do you remember that? So apparently Davis is feeling some type of way, decided this was his opportunity to take some shots at Swante. He has me blocked, so I don't want to hear him blaming me for reporting his tweets that I can't even see this time. <laughs> Davis, suck a dick, virgin. The first person to text every day is a dude. Wash your face. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of that drama. Swante came back from his 12 hour suspension. He was feeling some type of way because he couldn't respond to all the comments that people were making about him. He said this, people trying to get me banned over a golf, a non-contact sports opinion. The streets is done. By the way, Joe a bitch for reporting me. That dude is a sensitive ass hater. He could have just debated with us instead of showing us how triggered and offended he was about a damn golf opinion. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where the drama ended. For our next story of the day, Steezo has something to say about power out of nowhere, and it goes as follows. Why power talk like he got a dildo super glued to the back of his throat? That's the end of that story. Yo, what up, Davis? That Asian beef star? Whoa, it dead ass is, bro. Welcome to Drama Alert, my guy. <laughs> we were just talking about him. That's crazy. For our next story in the day, it seems like Nadex has a secret admirer. His name is Maul. Maul put out this video. It was titled, Nadex TMB gave me his Cuban missile on NBA 2K19 jump shot. Everybody saw that on Twitter. was like, bro, what are you, what are you talking about, man? Nate even responded saying, let me find out they know about the missile. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with our community, man? Why can't we just be normal? Why can't we just be like a regular ass community? When we're not getting in fights, we're talking about other people's Cuban missiles. It's like, God damn, bro, we can't be normal? For our next story of the day, man, listen, anytime DDG gets in some drama, I'm always skeptical because, listen, I know a lot of them are just fake, but it's entertaining, so I'll watch anyway. Besides the point, since he got into some hot water with Solo Minotti, Solo Minotti said, let's fight for our careers. So everybody was like, wait, hold on. Is this real? What's going on right now? Seemed like the two having some beef. DDG quote tweeted that correcting him saying, our, but, Bet, I'm looking for the date. Make sure you show up this time. And that's taking shots, I believe, at the time where Soluminati had some beef with Cash Nasty and Soluminati failed to show up to the 1v1 against Cash. I could be wrong, though. Maybe they were talking about a different situation, but I think that's what he's talking about. DDG dropped some DMs, though. He said, lol, this dude is scared every time I DM him. Pure cat. I'm 5'9". What are you scared for? Give me a date. I've been waiting so long to embarrass you. Your career is on the line, respond. And he's showing DMs of him and So trying to set up that 1v1 underneath. Now, I tell you right now, I don't know how Solo Minotti is because I haven't talked to him, but with, a lot of these YouTubers are mad bougie, bro. Let's say I have a video I want to make and I hit up some YouTubers. Sometimes, especially if they're bigger YouTubers, they'll say things like, no, no, I'm busy, I have things to do. It's like, how are you busy all the time? I don't believe you. You just don't want to do it, so just say that. I don't know if that's what's happening in this situation, but that's been my experience for the most part, trying to connect and get things going with the community. If you try and do a community-wide event, half the community is not interested, ever, because they have things to do, or because they can't do this date, or that date, or this date. It's like, make some time. If it's that important to you, you tweeted about it this many times, make some time for it. Anyway, I, I can't speak on this situation. I'm just giving you some context. All right, so the DMs go as follow. Let's do it. I got a gym in, same that I did at Deshay video at. 
Okay, I can't read these because some of these guys don't even try and use grammar. So it is a mission for me to even try and understand what's going on. Just know they tried to set up a match, all right? You know how to hide behind fans and spam videos so people can forget about You know if I come to Cali with squad, you're not gonna 1v1 with these hands. If I'm beating your ass, it's gonna be extra automatically. A brawl, tell me I'm lying. Would you come to me? I ain't gotta hide none. I genuinely wanna whoop your ass. I got too much money for that. A brawl? You sound dumb as hell. We gonna box and make some money. I get back to LA on the 19th. Yeah, that's the dumb that I ever heard. Why would somebody brawl? They're talking about a basketball game. Why, why, why would you schedule a brawl? You're trying to get a, a 1v1 going. Now some boxing, that might be interesting. This guy said you want to brawl? Like what? Especially when you have a lot of money, no, you don't want to be brawling. That's how you get sued. DDG put out a tweet saying, DDG put out a tweet saying, if I go to him, he's not gonna set up the gym. My shit is a call away. I got way too many accolades to be brawling with some hoodlums and jumping people. I'm trying to settle this shit like a man. Dude is terrified. Woke up to beat your ass today, Pontiac made DDG. But we all know you're gonna hide behind these videos. And they did drop videos on one another. And I'm not even gonna bother watching them or reporting on them because they were D's. They were like 20 minutes long. I'm not trolling. I never go public wanting to fight nobody. You deserve it, bitch, for the culture. I put this on my mama grave. Damn, on, his, on the grave? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the situation escalated with some more videos they made on one another because of course, why not profit off the drama? Do I think it's fake? Most likely. Do I have any evidence it's fake? Absolutely not. It just seems like it's not real, but that's just me speculating. We've, I've definitely seen DDG in some beefs before where I just knew for a 100% fact it was not real. And there's nothing really wrong with that. At the end of the day, it's entertainment. And sometimes even the audience catches on to the fake that they're not real. Uh, yeah, that was the end of that story. It wasn't as crazy as people made it seem to be. It was just some guys trying to settle some shit with the basketball game, with a brawl, or with a boxing match. For art! Shakedown was a little pissed off about these park events. And he got a response from Mike Wang. Let's get into it. He tweeted, instead of having fake games played in the background during 2K events and in the JRC, why not have a crowd like in the NBA 2K18 Proving Ground? These fake games be causing lag and slowdown. Just makes more sense for street basketball to me. At LD2K, at Scott O'Gallagher, at Baluba. Baluba himself responded because he's been feeling kind of active recently. He said, those are actual games being played by real users in the 2K events. And we, we just gotta zoom in for a second. Does that look like a real game going on in the background? I have never seen a real game like this. Just, just, just stay looking at the background. No, it's possible that they're real. It just doesn't look like it. Lol, no, they're not visually real users. Shoot, responded. Mm -hmm. Basically, nobody believed Mike Wang. Now this brings up a very good point. I've been talking about this for years now. 2K, when I'm playing in a game at the park, any park event or just regular park, anti up, you name it, I don't want to load all the extra going on because I have crowds every single time I play and there's other games going on in the next court. It causes, say it with me, extra latency, extra lag, and sometimes it results in you being disconnected. I don't wanna have to deal with that stuff. And so what we can do, and I think this is a pretty easy fix, is everything that's not in your game, blur it out. This should be an option, call it streamer mode, call it uh, low power mode, whatever you wanna call it, and just allow us to flick that switch and blur out everything else so the only thing that our, our PS4s and Xboxes have to process is the current game we're in. The only thing about that is 2K would never do that because 2K gets these brand deals from Jordan and from Nike and they post stuff on the billboards in the neighborhood. And so if they blurred all of that stuff out, then they're gonna start losing money when you can't see that stuff unless you're actively walking around the neighborhood. So it hurts 2K's bottom line to have a feature that would infinitely improve the gameplay. It would reduce the latency. It would, it would make for a, a more enjoyable experience, but we can't do that. Because on off chance, Jordan wants to pay 2K $10,000 to put a billboard up there where we have to see it. I think that's my theory at least. That's besides the point, I don't want this to turn into a rant, but I do agree with Shakedown, it'd be nice to not have to see any of that, or just give us the option to not have to see any of that. I know that's not the devs making that call, right? That's the publisher with all those deals telling the devs, no, you're not allowed to do that. But 
Anyway, either way, it doesn't get us what we want as a community. Stop capping, 2K. Hey, um, if you guys enjoyed the drama alert, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Are you new? Then go ahead and do that. Click on one of these four videos. And I'm going to catch you in the next one.